this is a video to show you my latest build this is the carbon frame from micro motor warehouse and you can see here that I have made a sort of FPV plate now this is the HD camera from the H107C and I have tapped into the video Let's see if we can get it to focus there this does actually have a video out here and so I've connected it to this transmitter here from Banggood. I think it's about six pounds or something. It's 200 milliwatt. I did try to get this casing off to try and save a bit of weight, but I tried to desolder it, and no matter what, it wouldn't come out off. So I'm stuck with it. It weighs one gram, so I'm I'm losing a gram there. But I, I'm just using the standard controller underneath here. I'm actually powering this from the board itself however the VTX I'm using a separate 100 milliamp battery the flying weight in total is about 60 grams something like that so quite heavy so I'm using the Parrot rolling spider props to give a bit more thrust the reason that I'm doing this is I'm I'm not I'm not trying to rival the new Proto X FPV, but I'm trying to sort of recreate it uh, because you know, using the standard Spyhawk transmitter in in the 5.8 here, I should be able to get quite good range with it. But the other reason, as well as there's no bind and fly option of the Proto X FPV yet. And also, I've got this transmitter over here, which has got a range extender. So Coupled with the bi-quad that's in the TX here and the range extender and this 200 milliwatt 5.8 gig transmitter, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do some kind of long range test with it outside. Of course, using all the 1.3 FPV gear that I have, it's not very mobile, but this I can just change the frequency and log into it. Now, I've not actually seen any footage on YouTube yet of this camera actually working, but it really does work. You have uh, it doesn't see it doesn't focus in very well here on the uh, on the camera, but it's the fourth pin along as video, and then you've got your your normal ground and voltage in uh, wire. Okay, so oh, I've also added the. 808 lens which does just screw into this there is plenty of hot glue all over this thing and that is because this lens here is so fragile I don't want it to move so it's completely hot glued and probably taken up too much weight with the hot glue as well but let me readjust the camera and I'll show you the kind of video that we get out of it so it's quite hard to show this one-handed, so I've already plugged in my battery for the VTX, battery for the quad. I'm going to turn on. I'm not sure what kind of picture that we're going to get out of this, what you're going to be able to see. I'll wait till it binds. <clears throat> my voltage is really long, the transmitter. We've not got very long at all for me to show you this. So I'm going to very quickly go down to the 5.8 gig frequency. You can't see it very well. Ah, there we go. Yep, so we got a picture. And then actually, if you press record on the side here, I had to put the camera down whilst I press the record button. You can see it's almost as if this was designed here to have the recording option on it eventually because when you press record, it does show you how long it's been recording for. So that's it on the setup. I'll do another video of the flight.